Oh, laying down under the RV. Oh. only place in the RV that there's not uh, flathead screws you can't see and I can't find my tripod this is the back of the water heater box <laughs> there's no room I'll be right back. I've got no uh, flashlight. I don't know if we can see up in here or not. But I was worried about accessing the hot water heater. There is some pecs up there. Whew. Okay, so I can get to that. <clears throat> okay woo that was exhilarating let me get you flipped around here anyways I don't understand the hot water This goes up into the coach. This is all a hot water drain and a hot water water bypass. That was the PEX that was coming down to, through the hot water heater. So it came up into this bay and comes over to the cross. Cause this is the water bypass drain valves and those two pipes i bet one goes down one's the supply one's the return i think this was the supply that's the return yeah. so good damn look at all that room so if we get in there oh, I actually just broke this pipe That pipe going that way is one of the ones that comes up and under. 
see how they done the slanted the gray water tank. That's the back side of the shower. I'm thinking about moving the water tank inside and the water pump inside. Side shower. Okay. I tell you, I thought about dropping. I wonder what the step up is in the bathroom. Because that tank, I thought the tank went up into the floor, but it doesn't. So that means that's dead space in the bathroom. Which means I'm going to take out a step. So there's plenty of room to access all of this. These two pipes go up into the shower. Oh, lordy, lordy. It is hard on me getting up and down. Oh, Sammy dog. I heard the bathroom or that sink bottom's got to come up. See, I thought that... turn you on your side and look this is a step in the in the bathroom here's where the broken pipe was I thought that the tank was here. It's not. The tank is actually below the linoleum. So. It looks like. Hmm. If I can, I'm going to try to pull this step out. Right here. And of course, lower the toilet. I'll have to keep this step because that's a little short toilet anyway. But. I need to see what's underneath this platform here. Hmm. And then obviously the sink is here. Shower's here. I can get to that stuff. That's no big deal to get to that plumbing either. With that being said, looking and exploring at... That it looks like everything's going to be easy to get to. I want to set up a kind of a PEX case here. I had some of these, and one of them was wrong. It was, this is bigger than my other three that I have, 
So I actually moved some boxes around to get this and kept the other three to match in my shop. This one I'm going to keep for my PEX box. With the missing drawers, you know, it gives me lots of room to put tools here. And then put the little rings and stuff. These are things to make sharper radiuses. They're actually really pretty slick. I'll show you how to use those in a later video. Um, these are real common for the tanks, the back of the shower, the faucet, the water heater. They all use these. You can get them in plastic, but I actually prefer to have the metal ones. So there's my PEX kit. I probably need to get some more elbows. I don't think I'll need any. Maybe a couple. But most of my elbows I'm going to try to do with this. I'm going to try to eliminate that. It's, this is all half inch. That's everything I use. 